channel uh, welcome to my channel and today we're going to find out uh, i realized that there is a uh, like some some students find it very difficult to memorize uh some um wiring standard um which is the two main wiring standard which is a t568 alpha and a 2568 bravo so today that's what we're going to look at we're going to go into it and find an easier way to memorize it yeah yeah can we go into it so the first question that comes in mind is uh, what is a t568 alpha and then what is a t568 bravo wiring standard so a t568 alpha and a t568 bravo uh wiring standard that defines the pin for terminating a twisted per network okay so i believe you probably have come across one of this cable uh it's an internet cable which uh, when you plug into your computer you get internet probably at work or home um this is called an rj uh 45 uh this is a standard that is um uh, it's regulated or yeah it's regulated by the telecommunication industry association as the tia and an electronic industries industries alliance that's a EIA. Okay, so they have two main standard, two main standard, which is their T568 alpha and then a T568 Bravo, and that's what we're gonna learn today. Okay, so we're gonna learn the this. Um, looking at these uh, little, little diagram here or uh, uh, wire here, it usually comes with eight pins. So uh, and then this pins comes with uh, the pins has color codings on there. So we have uh, we have stripes color coding and then a solid color coding. So looking at here we have the two uh, there's a T five six eight alpha and a T five six eight bravo. And these are the color codings. So it comes with a white green, green, white orange, blue, white brown, uh, white blue, then orange and white brown brown the same thing applies to the bravo so the bravo comes also with this color white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown and brown okay so we're going to learn and we're going to what we're going to do is to find an easier way to memorize these colors uh, for those pins okay that's what we're going to do we're going to do it for alpha and we do for bravo as well so in order for us to do this, we're gonna give or we're gonna assign letters to this, uh, uh, the col the colors. Okay, so we're gonna have green is gonna be a G, um, an orange is gonna be an O, blue is gonna be a Bravo, or or B, and brown is gonna be a B R. Right. In order for us to distinguish between brown, uh, blue, and then brown, we're gonna represent blue by B and then brown by B R, and then we're gonna have a letter, a letter W, uh, whiskey to represent white. Oh, there comes the magic number. So we're gonna have a magic number. I earlier told you the pins are one to eight. So there are gonna be two magic numbers for this um, memorization. So we're gonna have four and six to be our magic number. Now, in order for us to continue, we're going to build up a mnemonic for these colors. So, TIA, EIA, 568 alpha, we're going to have this mnemonic. So, which I know, I believe you by now you know what this represents. So, that's going to be a green, an orange, a blue, and a brown. Same thing applies to Bravo. Bravo is going to be an orange. A green a blue and a brown okay all right so in order for us to continue we got some rules that we need to follow okay so let's look at this rules rule number one it's gonna say multiply whiskey or white by the mnemonic okay rule number two solid colors follows stripe colors okay so solid color so it means that anytime we have a stripe color the next color should be a solid color stripe color solid color stripe color solid color yeah we're gonna go in that order okay and then oh the magic number okay so we're gonna crisscross the magic number which is gonna be four and six 
All right, so the first one we're going to do, we're going to do that for the alpha, which is going to be EIA, uh, TIA, 5, 6, 8 alpha. And we know that this is going to be the mnemonic that we created um, for the colors. This is going to be green, orange, blue, and brown. And this is going to be the solid color, okay? So in order for us to get uh, the striped colors, we're going to multiply the solid color by white. Um, so that's going to be white multiplied by green is going to be the white green. White multiplied by orange is going to give us a white orange. White multiplied by blue is going to give us a white blue. White multiplied by brown is going to give us a white brown. All right, let's go to what uh, our rule number two says. Rule number two, solid colors follow stripe colors. Solid colors follow stripe colors. So, oh, so we have one, two, eight, which is going to be the number of pins we have. Okay. And then, as we said, solid colors follow stripe colors. So, if we have a stripe color, which is this one here, uh, white, green, the next one should be a solid color, which is going to be green. Then we're going to have white, orange, then orange. Then we're going to have a white brown, a white blue, sorry, white blue, blue, a white brown, then brown. So this is the order in which they're going to come. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do talk about, oh, do uh, you remember their magic number? Yes. So the magic number is going to be four and six. So four and six is our magic number. And what do we need to do with the magic number? Crisscross. Remember, don't forget, don't forget to crisscross. Okay. So when we crisscross, we're going to get, uh, what do we have here for number four? It's an O. And what do we have here? Oh, sorry, it's a, yeah, O, which represent, um, which represents orange. And then what do we have here for six? That's a blue. So when we crisscross, so blue is going to be in the position of four, and O, which is an orange, is going to be in the position of of, uh, of uh, number six. Okay. All right. So that's what we just uh, uh, got. This is what we had. Uh, we're going to compare this to our standard. So when we compare, we're going to realize that we have. Uh, white green, which is a white green here, and then a green, and a white orange, and then a blue, and then a white blue, and then an orange, and then a white brown, and then a brown. So that's for the alpha. All right, let's. Uh, that's uh, we just checked the answer, and then it, was, it was right. And these are the uh, numbers for. The pins okay now we're gonna do that for bravo 2 so now we're gonna um we're gonna find um what their color coding for the solid colors which we already know for for bravo which is an uh, orange green blue and brown first rule multiply by, by white and that says the solid we multiply by white and this is what we get we're gonna get um a white orange a white green a white blue and a white brown now rule number two solid color follows stripe colors you remember that all right so solid color oh uh, stripe color first let's start with a stripe color so stripe color is gonna be whiskey orange and then orange okay so white orange and then orange white white green and then green white blue and then blue white brown and then brown okay last rule what do we need to do? 
you remember? Yeah, we just have to crisscross four and six and four and six. So crisscross. So well, when we crisscross, we know that six has a bravo, so that's going to be in the position of four. G has a golf or green, which is going to be in the position of what number six. So this is our answer, and we're going to compare right there. So let's see here. Uh, white orange. That's what we have here. White orange, 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 white green, white green, and the blue, blue, white blue, and then green, and white brown, and then brown. Okay, hello guys. Uh, if you're new to this channel, subscribe to this channel. If you think these tips are very helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so I can bring you more uh, videos like this. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section.